I want to provide a big congratulations to my friends Michael and Jerome Russell and the entire team at H.J. Russell & Company for being a recipient of the Go Beyond Profit Champion Award. Say cheers to each other. So cheers to you all. Cheers to the entire H.J. Russell team from our Creature Comforts family. You know, my father, I mean, I think he never forgot where he came from. I mean, he, he really didn't come. He came from a great family, but, but without much. Um, he grew up um, on the south part of downtown by, it used to be Turnerville, now it's Georgia State's a stadium in that neighborhood. Um, it was called Summerhill. So I think it really starts from there. He just, you know, he grew up with a great parents, you know, but neither one of his parents had a, uh, had a college education. He was the only um, a sibling, he had eight, uh, eight total. He was the youngest, but he was the only one who graduated from college. And uh, he, you know, he just never forgot from where he, uh, he came and he always was, um, he always believed in, in giving back. Well, first I wanna just thank everybody for being here and helping with um, Russell Rocks the Block. This is a annual program. It's the third year. And I'm here to support the purpose of the program around community. Oh, I couldn't think of anything better to be doing, especially during COVID times. I mean, this is, it's a beautiful day and we have community coming out to indulge in the services that we're providing. We have to do what we can to uplift the community from a social, economic, um, healthy, standpoint. So this is what this is all about. Well, it's, it's, it's part of our DNA. It's part of my DNA. It's part of what I believe in. And I've, I've, you know, been blessed to have been born in a city like Atlanta and to have seen the growth of this city over the years. And really, as, I, as I'm older and can compare it to other cities, I, I feel really blessed that um, a part of what has made Atlanta great is that it's had great leadership and people who, who have been willing to engage and give back and care about the community. When I started here, um, you know, you, you're new, you're the new kid on the block, you have your new office and you're meeting people. If I heard it once, I heard it seven or eight times where people said, welcome to the family. It wasn't welcome to the company, welcome to the team. It was welcome to the family. And that's how people treat you here. And as the vice president of external affairs, that's, you know, I, I, I'm just honored to be able to take that outside of these walls. Well, I think, uh, you know, I'm, I mean, my company being one, a black company, is unique. We're, you know, almost 70 years old. We're at, uh, solidly into the second generation leadership and we have third generation of Russell's involved in our business. But we, you know, we clearly are much bigger than a family business, but but um, family is important. So I guess we are a part of this community. We are a well-known um, organization here. And when, you know, you see the things that have, have happened and, and the attitudes and, and, and the general injustice and inequalities, I think it's important that a firm like ours is is out front uh, saying that we 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 want to make a difference. We want to do better as an organization. We want to be a part of the solution. It's not just you know writing a check and and walking away. We're really trying to get more and more of our employees engaged and 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 use their talent, skills, passions to be a part of that. Also, so Russell Cares is just about a year and a half old, and this has formalized our philanthropic efforts in the company and my style is to lead from behind. So we have employees from every division in the company that are part of the, the Russell Cares Contribution Committee and they make the decisions as to you know what awards are given and they are in, involved in the distribution of the contributions and the check giveaways. One of the things I did uh, ask them during the interview when I was interviewing with them was what their initiatives are with the company. Because for me, I feel like that's a big part with any company is knowing that they're actually giving something back. We can't give back if we don't have. And all of the people here who, who operate at H.J. Russell every day make it happen. I mean, they're the ones 
um, who are executing and allowing us to deliver a service and get compensated for that service. So they are the reason that we're able to do what we can do. Business really, really leads this country. I mean, America is a system that's based on capitalism. And so it's, it's our businesses that, that really determine and drive the ship. And so I'd like to encourage them to stay engaged. And even though, you know, their giving may not be as much as it has been in the past, continue to give, continue to serve. Stay engaged. You might not be able to do what you did last year, but you, but you have to understand that it's even more people in need in this environment. How can you find a way to be creative in your, in, in your giving back? How do you even, in this era of social distancing, how can more of your employees get involved? How can, how can maybe, you know, you use a, um, some talent from your organization to help in this environment where, where students are frankly falling behind because everybody is not gonna be able to keep up and be a part of this virtual learning. How can, how can your company be an asset maybe to a school or some students? You don't know what your support, what your contribution, what your impact could be to that one person, that one family, that one community that you help. Um, because that person, that individual, that organization can grow up and make a lasting impact on the world. GasHealth and I are so honored to share this distinction with an organization of your caliber and historical significance. You know, Atlanta wouldn't be the city that it is today without H.J. Russell and Company. And I really love what the Russell uh, family is doing to give back in a new and in innovative way. Uh, the Russell Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship is a model for how to cultivate a startup ecosystem specifically for aspiring Black-owned businesses. Simply put, H.J. Russell and Company are doing great things to build a better Atlanta. So from everyone at Gas South, we salute you for being deservedly recognized as a Beyond Profit champion. We were a recipient of the Go Beyond Profit Champions Award last year. It meant a lot to us to win that award, uh, to be put alongside Gas South. We hoped that as a brewery, maybe we brought some cool factor to it, but to, uh, to now get to be a, a recipient of that in the past and be alongside you all at H.J. Russell, it, it really brings just a whole nother level of respect and dignity and sort of awe to this award. At Creature Comforts, when something great happens, we call those trap moments. And so what we do is we, uh, we open up a Tropicalia, and we, uh, which is one of our beers here, and we say cheers to each other. So cheers to you all. Cheers to the entire H.J. Russell team from our Creature Comforts family. 